Do your kids play Minecraft? Mine do, maybe a little bit too much. It's easy to get frustrated by the amount of time kids spend not only on Minecraft, but other video games, but our next guest has turned his passion for online building into a full-time career. Sean Davidson, welcome. Thank you. Born and raised here in Calgary. Yeah. But you're creating quite a stir around the globe with some of your Minecraft creations. Where did this all begin? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I started like any other kid. I mean, I started at home playing six hours a day, just like investing all my time into this. And um, just like a casual thing. And then just kind of like you start to see the opportunity and it's, it's just like realizing that creative potential and then grouping up and kind of like working your way up the ladder. So yeah. you met other Minecrafters yeah. and you created a business out of this. Yeah, yeah, essentially. I mean, like we are, uh, right now we're a team of 62 people in 16 countries around the world. Um, so it's kind of just been like, getting together, finding people. I mean, we've almost all met digitally. Um, like t two people were not, so. So basically kind of creating uh, pieces of art, dioramas and things like that for different companies. Yep. We're gonna bring up some of your creations to show you what yourself and your group have been building because some yep. of these are incredible. Look at this. Yeah, for what, sure. What, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is the Fire London recreation. So this was for the Museum of London. Uh, massive thing. I think we had over 20 builders working on it over like a two month time span. 20 people over two months? Yeah, it was mental. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, let's bring up another one here. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is Climate Hope City, which was for The Guardian, um, kind of talking about like climate change and how we can build, better build sustainable cities and stuff, using your, Minecraft as like an example. Your clients are all around the world. You've worked for some big yep. companies like Disney. Yep. This next one here was created for... This is for Warner Brothers, yeah, this was... Uh, promotion for the Batman vs. Superman movie. This is Gotham City. We did uh, Gotham City and Metropolis, and then we had like people go in and explore them as a, as a game mode. I've tried the game, and I can't even imagine starting to build things like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a time commitment. Bring up a couple more here. Yeah, uh, this was for the Microsoft E3 demo. Um, this was one of the projects that I recently led, and we kind of just like, I mean, with all these projects, it's kind of the same process. Like, you receive a brief, and then you go through and you, you assign roles to everybody and, and you make sure that everybody's like properly set up and then using our tools that we have like I mean beyond the, the builders on our team we have custom developers and programmers and they, they they kind of help us to like better and more efficiently do our work. And I recognize that one because at the recent Apple press event that yeah, came up they so did, they used yeah. your image at they the did. big Apple event. Mm -hmm. Now the one actually that caught my eye and caught a lot of people's attention here in Calgary uh, was one that you built. I don't know how long ago you built this. Uh, not that long ago, two, let's, three let's weeks Let's bring ago. it up here, and I'm sure people at home will recognize this building. Yeah, it's the new Calgary Library, um, a recreation of it at least. So we were, we were kind of in contact with the library, and they, they gave us some of the details, like the architectural plans, the, uh, the drafts. And then from there, I, I just got a couple friends on and got kind of like in the dirt, and we, we built it and, uh, as best to, and as accurately as we could from, from the pictures. Minecraft is quickly becoming an educational tool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, like Microsoft, one of the biggest things they, they did when they bought it was so that they could kind of like provide this new platform for education and, and they saw the potential. And I mean, I think we do too. Um, and that just kids are so captivated and so engaged with Minecraft that they can just, they can take it and then teachers, they realize that these kids, they love it so much. And then they can just like provide them with a platform that they're used to and they understand and they can relate to. Do you still play for fun? I. <laughs> Not as much as I wish I could, but... <laughs> it's all work now. It's all work, yeah, for sure. So what advice would you give to some of the players out there? And, you know, the parents get frustrated. They say, get yeah. off that already. What would you say to them, though? Yeah, I mean, get involved. Get involved in the communities. Like, like just realize that the time you're investing, it can be rewarding. There's, there's definitely a lot of potential for business, even for just, like, smaller kids. Like, work for servers, work, work for other people. Um, but even if you're not going in for the business side of things, like, there's a lot of benefits for design. Like I was a design student and like these things, there's a lot of crossover between them, um, especially just like even the way and the process and the brief, it's all the same. So, right. so there you go. It's yeah. not just all fun and games. You can turn video games into a good business. Thanks for joining us this morning. For sure. Thank you.